I see a lot of students kind of like mistake Edema and Anasaka. All right. And um, just for you to know that these two concepts, yeah. Should I just use this image to illustrate it? Now, look at this. Can I see this is a normal food? And it's a mild edema. Now, when edema gets too much, or let me say, edema normally occurs in the lower extremities, the hands, the legs, and all that. So when edema is now spreading to the whole of the body, not really whole of the body, but other parts of the body, generalized edema. That's why we say it is now becoming what? Anasaka. All right? So here I'm just trying to spend my time and give you guys a breakdown of the differences between what? Edema and Anasaka to the best that I can. All right? So I'll take my time and I'll get that done. Okay. I'm just coming, let me write something. I wanted to do a video on hemoptysis and chyloptysis. I don't want to forget about that. Uh, okay, written down. So, how we're going to def uh, define this, or how we're going to treat this is what? We'll talk about edema separately, talk about anasaka separately, then talk about them together. Do you understand? All right. So for edema, let's have the overview first. We said that edema and anasaka are both conditions characterized by our fluid accumulation in the body. So there's accumulation of fluid in the body, particularly what? Interstitial space. So there's movement of fluid from the cells into the interstitial space. Do you understand? All right. So, but they differ in severity, distribution, and impact. Edema is more of like, it's just normal. You get, it's just mild. The patient can still do one or two, all right? Anasaka is when this thing is getting too severe. It's an edema, but edema that has gotten too severe, right? So let's talk about edema. We said that in edema, there's localized fluid accumulation. Just watch how we are using the words. Localized in anasaka will be generalized, okay? So it typically occurs in the extremities, like the legs, the arms, the feet. Why in anasaka it to be generalized, okay? It can be unilateral or bilateral. Anasaka will be everywhere, okay? It may be caused by what? Injury, infections, surgery, medications venous insufficiency and lymphatic obstructions of course any one of these can also cause an anasaka provided the effect is too much and all that right so looking at the symptoms of uh, this edema there'll be swelling there'll be pain there'll be redness there'll be warmth where you feel the feet there'll be limited mobility but the person will still be moving around at least a little a little and Asaka, I'm not sure if the person can still move around, okay? Moving to Anasaka now. There's widespread, generalized fluid accumulation, all right? So now this fluid accumulation is not only in the lower extremities. It's now moving to the entire body, including the face of the person, the trunk, and the extremities, okay? It's often accompanied with what? Severe malnutrition because the patient is weak. All right, all that, they can't really eat, okay? So one of the things that is needed to maintain all those, what, um, fluid balance in the body is protein, okay? So it could be that they have not been eating protein, all right? So they have hypoproteinemia that resulted into this, all right? So this could lead to organ failure, liver, heart, kidney are the ones likely to fail, it could lead to cancer, it could lead to sepsis, it could lead to what? Reduced levels of what? Albumin. Hypoalbuminemia. So this one, the symptoms, everything is what? Severe. Everything is skyrocketing, all right? So there's severe swelling, there's weight gain, there's skin sickness, there's organ dysfunction, there's respiratory distress, all right, for Anasaka. They're trying to combine the two concepts. For the key differences, Edema is localized and Asaka is generalized. 
okay severity edema is more severe and life threatening causes edema has benign causes like what is causing is just small why an asaka is linked to something crazy like the thing causing an asaka if you get to discover it the thing too will be a big guy do you understand all right then impact an asaka affects multiple organ systems whereas the edema typically affects what local tissues so on that that's the differences between edema and, and, and asaka